recording service. Okay, I think we're recording now. So um, this is going to be a 15 minute presentation on uh, the intern program. First, let me introduce uh, two of our interns and one of our team members. Um, Lula, would you like to share uh, your background and interests and um, your involvement with Build It Yourself? Um, I am Lula from Mexico and Honduras at the same time, both nationalities. I am a computer science engineer and mostly a teacher. I've known Build It Yourself since, since 2008. When, when John Galinato came to Mexico and um, made a series of conferences and workshops for my students at the Colegio Las Ayas in Jalapa, Veracruz. And since then, we have been collaborating, um, doing a webcast, um, webcast courses and also visiting in summer, every other summer. And now we are starting a very serious campaign for interns and little ones to enjoy Build It Yourself here in Mexico, and maybe we will also extend it to Honduras. And I am very, very eager to continue with this work because I really believe in Build It Yourself philosophy. Great. Thank you, Lula. Val, can you share your background, where you're from, where you're going, what you're studying? and what you um, like about uh, the Build It Yourself intern program. Hi, I'm Val. I come from Bulgaria. Now I'm a freshman at MIT, so that is quite exciting. I think um, a big part of the reason why I'm where I am is because I spent my last two summers with Build It Yourself. And what I really, really enjoyed, so first of all, uh, let me mention that Spending the last two summers at Build Yourself, uh, I had the opportunity to basically work on software projects that I probably would not have the chance to work on anywhere else. Because the philosophy of Build Yourself is such that high school students are given a lot of um, responsibility and a lot of independence at the same time. Even though you have a project and you have guidelines, you are expected to do a lot of things on your own and you are not just like, um, you are not babysitter. But at the same time, that means that you are able to create things and to learn things that are, and to be part of projects that are unique to, to build yourself. Great, thank you Val. <laughs> and uh, Danielle, can you share with your, um experience with Build It Yourself? Yeah, of course, Jen. Um, well, for me, it's been a life change <laughs> because I, when I first you know, worked in, on a team uh, with Build It Yourself, I felt uh, like, you know, that I was actually part of the team. Um, well, when I first entered the, the the webcast, and well, I started to work with different uh, people from different parts of the world. I just started to, you know, I was a little bit worried at the beginning because I had never done that before. And well, it was a surprise for me that there, there were no uh, prejudice. I think it's called like that. And so you you just enter a team and well you are actually part of the of the team uh, in the moment that you're starting. So you feel uh, you know that you are taking like uh, in consideration. And so everyone has uh, their their part to do, and you you also have your part to to do on the work. And they are all, all very intelligent, and they share, and they, and you can share your thoughts, and and you know speak freely, and they will listen to you, and everyone will work around the your ideas, or maybe maybe not it's not um, the the plan to work in, with your ideas, and but they will also listen to them because 
Well, I, I think it's very important to listen what others have, have to say, and I feel that way in Build It Yourself. Great. Thank you, Daniel. All right. So um, I'm going to uh, flip through uh, about 10 slides that describe our intern program. And um, uh, to start with, um, uh, Val and Daniel uh, were talking about uh, working on development teams uh, where we um, have both uh, interns and art and engineering stu students who guide the projects, who are the project managers. Uh, and those art and engineering students are primarily from MIT, from Cornell, uh, from Harvard, and from MassArt. Um, uh, we have three goals for the Build Yourself program. One is to uh, put interns in a position to work for us when they get to college, uh, work for us both as mentors or workshop leaders. Uh, and as developers. Um, and the second goal is to help uh, to present Build It Yourself at conferences and to partners and customers. Uh, we try to go to uh, one or two conferences a year, and we have sent interns to Paris, to Vienna, and to MIT to present Build It Yourself projects. Uh, the third goal of the Build Yourself Advanced Builder Intern Program is to put you, to help you develop a portfolio of projects that will help you get into the schools of your choice. Um, about 30% of our interns over the years have gone to Ivy League schools, to Stanford, uh, or MIT. And, um, these are some of the uh, tools that we um, that are exercised in the intern program. Uh, so all interns start with getting uh, fluent at PowerPoint, HTML, and Scratch. Uh, and after the first three or four months, uh, where we focus on developing a personal website and a trailer uh, that that uh, promotes a build it yourself product. Then the interns uh, are invited to join a build it yourself team and a uh, development team. And uh, there they'll learn uh, advanced tools such as 3D graphics, 3D Blender, Audacity for um, uh, editing music, uh, Photoshop or GIMP, uh, and you'll learn web development tools. Um, and these are some of the projects that we're working on, um, largely web development projects, and we're also working on a robotics construction system. And these are the skills that you'll exercise working on those projects. The time commitment of the intern program is, on average, maybe two hours a week, one hour per week during the semester uh, in webcasts with our uh, developers again, who are art and engineering students or recent graduates. And then during the summer, we invite interns to come to our laboratory in, uh, in Cambridge, which is about a 10 minute walk from MIT and maybe 15 minute walk from Harvard. And that's the program. So we invite you to uh, join one or two webcasts, uh, intern webcasts to see if you'll um, to see how the program works, and then if you um, if you like what you see, we will invite you to join our team. Okay, um, let me stop the recorder and just get some comments. Uh, hold on a second. Great. 